Before the immunization stations opened, the Junior Chamber of Commerce began a house-to-house -house canvas. Good afternoon. Hello. I'm Bill Jones from the Columbus Junior Chamber of Commerce. We're in the neighborhood advertising this uh, polio vaccine station that's set up up at Hershey's Grocery this afternoon. Yes, sir. They'll be up there at 7 o'clock to give free polio shots to you and, and any members of your family. I'm Robert George with the Columbus Junior Chamber of Commerce. There's going to be a free polio station set up here in your community in the Randy Chicken Shack, and we would like for you and your family to come down. And the chief of police endorsed the program and cooperated in many practical ways. And they're going to have traffic problems. If you're in the traffic division, I want you to assist them every way you possibly can. And anything you can do for them, I want you to go all out. And uh, that tomorrow, at 12th Street and Broadway, they're going to have a station there. And they will probably have some traffic problems there. And I want you to be there. At a meeting of all station personnel, volunteer workers were thoroughly briefed. The teams, as he mentioned, we do have, we have five teams here. So for the Friday's team, team number one, the team captain is Mr. Charles Munn. He will be located, uh, his team first will consist of himself, Dr. Reagan, uh, two nurses from St. Francis Hospital, and two volunteers. Now we can't... Thank you, Jack. Uh, at this time, we would like team number one to come up to the table here where we have the equipment uh, displayed and actually set up a station as they will tomorrow and we would like to ask if all the people in the room volunteer to have a shot. Uh, and now the heat is will you come around and say this is what it is. Free polio shot today at O'Neill's grocery store. Let's make Columbus the best vaccinated city in America. Children, bring your parents Join the march to health at Hershey's store. Get your free polio shot today at Hershey's store. A simple injection means polio protection. Let's make Columbus the best vaccinated city in America. Children bring your parents, and parents bring your children. Hershey's store. Ten days after the program was first announced, Television and newsmen gathered to record the grand opening of the polio station on the main street of the city. The mayor was there. He got the first shot. And then another for the benefit of photographers. Nursing schools used the campaign as a practical training ground for student nurses. The mayor remained to see the community effort well on its way. It was an extremely pleasant start, a good omen for the campaign. Let's make Columbus the best vaccinated city in America. Children, bring your parents, and parents, bring your children. Get your free polio shot today at 12th and Broadway. Doc pulls gun on cop. Good publicity depends on taking advantage of unusual situations. This action made the front pages. <laughs> Civic clubs had immunization parties. They came in groups to get their shot. The JSS had a big following. Mobile stations were set up in selected locations in other sections of the city. These locations were changed each day.
Card tables and folding chairs were readily portable. And the station was in operation almost immediately. Mobile station number two was located at a large shopping center. Station number three was set up at a busy street intersection in a crowded neighborhood. A popular grocery store served as the background for mobile station number four. Every shot won a balloon. In another section of the city, a food store in a shopping center helped to attract people to mobile station number five. The mobile stations were moved to new locations each day. This was station number two on the second day of the campaign. Small industries and large factories were a scheduled part of the program. Special events were handled by a roving immunization station which could respond quickly to any special situation, as in the case of these contestants in the Miss Columbus beauty pageant who helped to publicize the program. At the completion of the campaign's initial phase, exactly eight days and 38 locations later, one quarter of the city's population had received either their first, second, or third shot. Although Columbus was a relatively well immunized city at the start of the campaign, it is apparent that this phase was successful beyond anticipation. The program will continue in two additional immunization efforts each three weeks apart. The final answer will be determined by a statistical study which can then be related to the original survey. Meanwhile, new protection from polio has been assured to the previously unprotected babies and breadwinners of Columbus, Georgia. <laughs>